So today we've come to Seaforth to make a little mission out to these, I hope two islands, but I'm thinking we're only gonna get one. We've got a few hours in the tide, so it should be fun. A little family fishing mission with the, the everybody. Hopefully we can uh, catch like a brim or a flathead or something interesting. We have found a little, a little cave and come and live here. This is ours now, we live here. You've got to pee in there so it becomes ours. Cool little cave, like a clamshell. First little fish from here, a little tiny spotted cod of some description. I think it's just a little rock cod it looks like, but it's my first fish here. Dude, you dropped the lure and it's just pulled up in this little rock pool. I don't want to leave him in there because he would cook through the tide, so I'm not trying to get him out without him spiking me. Have a look at him. I assume that's what would be around here a lot of little cod and stuff, so glad to see I could get one straight away. But hopefully, I can get some broom or something on this because it's a little tournament strike deer diwa. Small enough to get big fish, big enough to get small fish too, so if that makes sense. That's really right, let's try and get to this other island. Oh, found myself a nice little spot. Ankle hot water. Beautiful. It's a structure. Let's see what I can get. So we found a little shady spot to chill out just for a few minutes because it gets hot carrying a little heavy guy in the um, baby car carrier. Not that I know because I don't carry any baby character carrier. Um, but I had a little fish out here and it um, didn't produce anything. But there was a little bus stop so I guess these guys have been stuck on the other side of the tide. Shrimp out. Let's see what I can get around here. 
it's an interesting little place. But I'm on the non-pressure side, so it's gonna take a wild guess that there's not too many fish on this side. There's not as much. There is a lot of bait, but I just not seeing the fish chasing bait, so there's bait right there in the water. Tiny little garfish swimming right in front of me. Oh, let's throw this guy out and see what we can get. Hopefully there's a little fish. I really like the swimming action on this shrimp. Oh look at that. There's a little toadfish coming in for the suss of the shrimp. Stroppy reef toadfish. That action on this shrimp is so good. Very good. Get me onto a few barra this year, I'd assume. My favourite thing about this guy is that um, he looks so realistic. He's got the hairs at the front and even the little eggs underneath, which make it a um, more tastier meal for a fish, I guess, when they see it. Um, I've caught a few flathead on this one, but I would be interested to see what else takes it. I was hoping around these rocks here that something would, but it's not looking like it. There's a little sea mullet out there. You probably can't see it. So, no luck other than that cod today. I have seen some big fish swimming around the bottom here. Look. Kind of like big brim, I guess. I don't know, they're pretty dark though. But they've got that brim sort of tail look to them and big brim sort of body. So I think I'll come back here eventually and probably target some brim around the rocks and stuff. But I think it's maybe a solo adventure type thing. But we're at Seaforth, so hopefully uh, next time I can into some bigger, better fish. I wouldn't mind if I got a bigger cod, that'd be great. But I'll have to look on probably around the other side of the island, I think, where the pressure is and the swell sort of hits up against it. There's more, more going on over there. But I'm glad I got a little fish in and got to check out the sea force and what happens here. So just a quick little edit today. Um, chuck us a like, leave a comment if you know anything about where I should be fishing in Seaforth, like, especially for flathead, I really want to try and get a Seaforth flathead, let me know, um, if there's spots I should be going in Seaforth, I've actually got a boat, so hopefully I'll come back and I can hit some of these little spots out here with my boat and get a bit more freedom as to where I want to go fishing. Uh, anyway, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Hang a cray frame that's been shedded. It's fairly bloody big. It's the size of my reel against it, like it's a big, uh, big pan of cray. Tasty big pan of cray. I might have to come here and snorkel and um, see if I can get one myself. I'd love to catch a cray. So I decided to take a walk across the mountains as we're walking out. And just kind of sort of stuff. Definitely coming back. We're targeting flathead. It's a stock It's a little baby flathead. Just but it always pays to um, have a little look. There's a nice size flathead there. Have a little look across the sand flats at low tide just to figure out if you have the potential for some flathead like I knew there'd have to be something here just from the structure and the way the ground looks they love a good bit of sand underneath them so hopefully next time I'm here I can 
and gear up with the right lures and put myself onto a decent sized fish. I don't reckon the meter of those around here, but I reckon there's an abundance of flatheads around here, so I might come back with the kayak and give it a go.